Hi everyone. In this video, let us discuss important facts of Oseltamivir. Oseltamivir is an antiviral agent. Here we can identify the suffix emivir, where the term vir indicates that it is an antiviral agent. And the term emi indicates this medication is acting on one of the enzyme neuraminidase. This is an important enzyme for release of virions. Now, Oseltamivir can block this enzyme, thereby it can produce antiviral activity. This medication can be used for the treatment of flu virus infection and it can be used for both influenza type A as well as type B infections. Most of the people are infected with influenza A virus, which results in few symptoms like cold, sore throat, chills and body pains and fever. However, before taking the Oseltamivir, you should know important facts like what is the best time to take this medication, what is the effects on different organs in the body and how it influences your mental status. All such things are very important before using this Oseltamivir. So in this video, we will cover all such important facts about this medication. First of all, let's see when to take this medication. Oseltamivir can be given to the people with flu virus infection. In order to show better efficacy, it can be given within 24 to 48 hours of onset of symptoms. Since the virus replicates in the body significantly, within 48 hours, this drug should be administered. If it is given after 48 hours, the efficacy of the treatment is doubtful and it may not properly inhibit viral infection. Oseltamivir is going to inhibit the release of new virions. Therefore, if it is given after 48 hours, new variants are already released, which may further increase the viral infection, where Oseltamivir is ineffective. This medication is not inhibiting the replication of the virus. It only inhibits the release of the virus. Therefore, it should be given within 48 hours of onset of symptoms. If it is given after 48 hours, more virus can enter into the mucous membrane of the respiratory tract. This may increase the infiltration of the viral cells leading to more respiratory symptoms. Therefore, either for treatment or prevention, Oseltamivir should be given within 48 hours of onset of symptoms. How this medication works? Oseltamivir is going to inhibit the release of new variants. The infected viral cell can produce new variants by replication process. These variants are released from the cell membrane by the action of one of the enzyme new remedies. This is a cleavage enzyme which can release the new variants that are attached to the cell membrane. Oseltamivir can block this new remedies enzyme thereby it can inhibit the release of new viral cells. This can inhibit the propagation of viral infection and can minimize flu symptoms. Oseltamivir can also block the crossing of variants through the mucosal membrane of respiratory tract. This can reduce the respiratory infiltration thereby it can relieve the respiratory symptoms what is the effect on organs when you take the oseltamivir it can affect the multiple organs in the body it can affect the heart liver kidneys and lungs therefore in people with any chronic heart disease hepatic impairment renal dysfunction or even respiratory disorders this medication should be carefully used and in the severe conditions, use of this medication is not preferred. Abnormal behavior. Use of Oseltamivir can produce one of the condition called delirium. It is a mental state with increased state of confusion and disorientation. People may have less thinking abilities and less concentration. It may also lead to abnormal behavior leading to self-injury. The relation between the development of delirium and use of Oseltamivir is not clear. And many studies reveal that it may be due to any viral infection in the brain that may lead to development of these symptoms. So in the people with flu infection along with any encephalopathy or infection in the brain, these symptoms may be produced. However, when you are going to take this medication, if you observe any of these symptoms, then this drug should be immediately discontinued. How to take this medication? Oseltamivir is available as a capsule at different strengths such as 30 mg, 45 mg and 75 mg. It is also available as an oral suspension 
This medication can be taken either with or without food. But it is always preferred to be taken with food as this medication can produce few of the adverse gastric effects. Therefore, you can take Usiltamavir along with meals or milk to reduce the symptoms of gastric discomfort. For the treatment of influenza, this medication can be given at a dose of 75 mg two times a day. This is the adult dose. However, the dose may be modified based on the other conditions. It can be given up to five days for treatment of influenza infection. However, this medication should be taken within 24 to 48 hours of infection. So once you confirm with any flu infection, this medication should better taken within 48 hours. For prevention of influenza infection, again this medication is given at the same dose such as 75 mg. However, this medication is given once a day instead of twice a day. Since it is used as a prophylactic, it can be given at a low dose such as 75 mg per day. However, it can be used for more number of days. For prophylaxis, Usiltamavir can be given up to 10 days. This duration of treatment may be modified based on the prophylaxis that is required when flu virus attacks the community and affecting many people this medication may be given up to six weeks to better control flu infection Usiltamavir can be given both in the adults as well as in the children in the children the dose of medication depends on the body weight as well as age of the children for prevention of flu virus it can be given to the children with age above one year Below one year, it is not safe and it should not be used for prophylaxis. However, for the treatment of flu viral infection, it can be given even in the infants with age about two weeks. In a simple way, use of this medication for more number of days is not safe in the children less than one year. Just like for the treatment, even for prophylaxis, Usiltamavir should be given within 48 hours of onset of symptoms. Now let us the side effects of this medication. This medication mainly produce few of the gastrointestinal symptoms. It may produce abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting. That's why it is preferred to be taken with food to reduce the gastric discomfort. It can also produce few of the central disorders, particularly it can produce some vertigo, reeling sensation and it may also produce some dizziness in the people. Few people may experience insomnia, lack of sleep with use of Oseltamavir. These, the these are the common side effects of this medication, but in a few people, it may produce some abnormal mental conditions like confusion, disorientation, and abnormal thinking. These side effects are not observed in all people, and they may indicate a state of delirium that is observed only in few people. Delirium may indicate a serious side effect of this medication, in such conditions, this medication may be discontinued. Use of Oseltamavir can also produce conjunctivitis, an infection in the eye. It may also produce some ear problems. These ear problems may also result in vertigo and lightheadedness in the people. This medication can also produce few other side effects like nasal bleeding. So that's all about this medication, Oseltamavir, which is an antiviral agent that is used to treat flu viral infection. This medication can also be used to treat swine flu infection caused by H1N1 virus. It can be used for treatment of both influenza type A as well as type B infections. However, it is widely used to treat influenza type A infection. But this medication should be taken within 24 to 48 hours of onset of symptoms. Therefore, once flu infection is confirmed, it is better to take this medication as early as possible. During the hospitalization, on the same day administration of Oseltamavir shows better efficacy with low side effect profile. However, this medication can produce one of the condition called delirium that may be linked with any infection in the brain. In a few people, this medication produces hypersensitive reactions resulting in the skin rashes, swelling, and difficulty breathing. In case of development of any hypersensitivity, this medication should be discontinued. So that's all about the different facts of Oseltamavir. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.